Hello. In this last part of the segmentation tutorial, we'll finish the segmentation of a serial block phase can include microscopy data set, and this time we will uh, segment mitochondria. First we open the data, then we open the model that we already uh, created during the previous parts of this tutorial. In this model we have three, uh, three materials, lipid droplets, nuclear envelope and ER. Now they all shown, and we can basically select which one we want to see at, at, at the time if we uncheck the show all checkbox. Uh, so, um, the first thing we'll do the similar trick as we did earlier. So we'll just re replace the uh, image intensity under the structures which we, that we already segmented. In order to do that, I select uh, material 1 in the select from list box and press the right mouse button and I click new selection. Now it's selected in the green. Then I select the second one and choose add to selection for all. And then the third one. Now all this, uh, all these materials are selected. And then I can finally go to the selection menu and choose select, uh, replace selected area in the image. I type the intensity of our background, which is around 200, 190. And type here so that I want to do this, uh, the replacement of the color for all slices. Now it's been selected, so uh, re replaced, and now I can press Shift C to clear the selection layer. So this is our starting point. There are a number of ways to submit mitochondria. For example, one can use local or global black and white thresholding. But this time I'd like to use uh, a classifier, which is based on random forest for membrane detection by uh, Verena Koenig from Harvard School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. This is quite slow way to segment this, but it uh, quite often may give quite nice results. But before that I would like to actually to filter the images a little bit using the bottom head filtering to increase the contrast, improve the contrast of the uh, of the membranes. And I'll just use this default parameters for this. So now uh, the idea in this method that we should select uh, the areas, some of them that belong to the mitochondria and some that belong to the background. For that I'll create two materials by pressing the plus button twice. And then, okay, I can call this material 4 as mitochondria and then material 5 as background. Then I select the magic wand tool and uh, basically select membranes in this mitochondria. Something like that. Then I use brush and then using pressing the control and the left mouse button I will remove the areas that actually do not belong to this mitochondria. That would be my mitochondria 1. I select the add 2 and press A button. And then there is another mitochondria which looks a little bit different. So I would actually also like to select this using the magic one tool. Like this and then press select uh, material 4 in add 2 and press A. Now I need to select a background, so I select the brush tool and then select few areas which do not belong to the mitochondria, like this background, and press A to add it to material 5, this chromatin, and the area here around ER, and then the, it's quite important to take the internal part of the mitochondria. If I will just do the plain selection, I will actually select everything but uh, just select the areas that are not selected to any of these materials. I may 
click on this exterior in the select from list and uh, check this fixed selection material checkbox. In this case, whatever I draw, it would actually result in the selection of the material that I highlighted in this uh, list box. Now with exterior, which is a background, then I can, for example, select uh, like an endoplasmic reticulum, and then when I draw it, it will only select this endoplasmic reticulum and nothing else. So again, I select exterior, and then I select this part, maybe, and this part, and maybe this part. Okay, this is fine for the beginning, and I press, I uncheck this fix selection to material, and then press A to add, oops, uh, to add it to material 5. Now we go to the tools, random forest classifier, and let's see the settings. So the, there's a workflow, there are several steps that have to be passed. So in the, uh, in the first step we define the materials of our object, which is MITAC, and the background, which is BG. When we define the context size, let's take it like 15, and the first step is to train classifier. So this is, uh, well, in general, this is quite slow because the image has to be processed and the different parameters have to be calculated. So let's see what it will do for this case. All right. So I switch off the model and then the can see result of the classifier. So you can see that the mitochondria were quite nicely picked and there are a few small areas were picked as well, but we are not really care about those at the moment because we most likely be able to filter them the, uh, later. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if we're happy, we can uh, go to the second step, which is save classifier. So the classifier will be saved into this file, which is mentioned here, or you can change, pick whatever file you like. So I go save classifier, then I go to step 3, which is predict data set. For example, I can go to a different slice over here and uh, press predict shown slice. Uh, it will, in this case, it will use this classifier that we trained in the previous step in order to segment, to perform segmation at this step. Well, it's quite okay. So when I kind of satisfied with these results, I can press this button predict data set and then it will start the prediction for the whole uh, for all 75 slices that we have in our image and that's going to be quite slow so I'll press it now and uh, after that we'll check the result <laughs> 